Udaygiri, the hill of the rising sun. While there are many archaeological sites in India called Udaygiri, the one in Jodhpur district of Odisha is historically the most important. For over 600 years, from the 7th to the 13th century, Udaygiri in Jajpur was the hub of spirituality, learning and art. We take you on a journey. Located 25 kilometers from the town of Jajpur, the Udaygiri complex is located on a low hill on the right bank of River Virupa. Along with the Ratnagiri complex, also in the present-day Jajpur district, and the Lalitgiri complex in the present-day Katak district, Udaygiri forms what is known as the Diamond Triangle of Orissa. It is from these monastery complexes that different schools of Vajrayana Buddhism first developed and then spread across Asia. It is this exquisitely carved 7th century statue of Avalokiteshvara, standing tall and proud for over 1400 years, that welcomes visitors to the Udaygiri complex. Located in a low valley, surrounded by hills, are the remains of the two Buddhist monastery complexes. How the complex gets its name Udaygiri is very interesting. The seals found here revealed to us that it was known as Madhavpur Mahavihara in its heyday. It gets its name Udaygiri from the fact that the spur of hills is open towards the east allowing the morning sunshine to directly fall on the complex. After a short climb on the left, we find breathtaking views of the stupa and the chaitya complex. This was the main monastery complex with a richly ornamented stupa with reliefs in lotus petal and diamond patterns. Around the stupa are smaller stupas dedicated to deities that belong to the Vajrayana school of Buddhism such as Tara, Padmapani and Avalikiteshvara. The Vajrayana school of Buddhism, which first developed here, also laid great emphasis on the worship of different deities apart from Buddha. Further ahead lies the remains of the once double-storied monastic complex known as Monastery 2, which has chambers bordered by a spacious courtyard. At the center is an enormous stone Dhyani Buddha in a state of meditation. It was under the Bhomakara dynasty that Buddhism thrived in Odisha. The region was extremely rich and prosperous thanks to its thriving trade with Southeast Asia and this resulted in an active cross-cultural exchange. Interestingly, the sculptures found at Udaygiri as well as Ratnagiri and Lalitgiri have a very close resemblance to those seen at Borobudur in Indonesia. By the 13th century, the thriving trade with Southeast Asia collapsed, as did the patronage from the Somvanshi dynasty. Over time, university complexes like Udaygiri declined and disappeared over time. It was only thanks to the efforts of the Archaeological Survey of India that the Udaygiri complex was rediscovered in 1980s. Today, Udaygiri stands in the middle of a lush green complex, welcoming visitors who come to admire this unique archaeological site. 